uh, dear audience, uh, I'm going to talk about chemistry, uh, but uh, uh, not to be boring, uh, I will focus uh, on uh, the uh, synthetic uh, design and uh, some interesting uh, aspects of uh, synthetic modification of uh, nucleoside derivatives. Um, in uh, uh, 1869, uh, uh, Swiss chemist uh, Friedrich uh, Miescher uh, isolated a, a highly an ionic uh, compound from cell uh, nuclei, and uh, uh, he was the first who uh, identified DNA as a distinct molecule. Uh, in the following century, many uh, researchers, chemists, uh, biologists, biochemists uh, uh, studied the uh, structure and function of uh, nucleic acids. Uh, the uh, most uh, uh, important uh, findings are listed here. Uh, and uh, due to uh, these uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, research work, no, we know well the structure and the biological function of uh, nucleic acids. Uh, we know that uh, these uh, uh, compounds uh, are polymers. Uh, the uh, monomeric unit, uh, units of these polymers are the nucleosides, which are composed of a sugar, pentyl sugar unit, uh, the ribofuranose or 2-deoxy-deribofuranose uh, connected to uh, pyrimidine or purine bases, and these monomers uh, are linked uh, uh, via a phosphor diester bond to form uh, the polymer compounds. Uh, and we also know that uh, in DNA double helix, uh, the uh, two strands are uh, coupled to each other uh, via hydrogen bonds uh, between the purine and the pyrimidine bases. Um, the nucleic acids and uh, the uh, monomeric building units of these uh, uh, compounds uh, uh, play a vital role, essential role in every form of life. Uh, and uh, um, in addition to the uh, uh, well-known uh, uh, function of uh, DNA, uh, storage and translation of genetic information, uh, nucleotides also play an uh, important role uh, as uh, 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 energy storing molecules and uh, uh, take part uh, in uh, metabolic processes uh, and uh, um, cell signaling uh, and also these uh, compounds uh, like UDP glucose and other uh, sugar nucleotides uh, are uh, important compounds in chemical uh, uh, or in biological uh, glycosylation reactions. So uh, due to this uh, very uh, broad and interesting biological roles. Uh, nucle uh, nucleic acid and uh, nucleotide derivatives uh, have great uh, therapeutic potential. But it is very important that uh, the nucle nucleic acid uh, or uh, oligonucleotide, uh, nucleotides in uh, the native forms are not drug-like compounds. Uh, they are characterized by short half-life due to uh, sensitivity to uh, degradation by nucleases, uh, and uh, also the uh, highly anionic na uh, nature of these compounds uh, is an obstacle to its uh, uh, therapeutic application. Therefore, uh, system uh, sy uh, systematic synthetic modification of these compounds are crucial to get uh, compounds which are uh, appropriate for therapeutic uh, uh, applications. Um, over the years, myriad of uh, modified nucleoside derivatives were synthesized, uh, and uh, some of these compounds uh, were approved uh, in therapy. Uh, there are uh, important um, uh, nucleoside derivatives in uh, uh, anti-cancer and antiviral therapy, uh, and oligonucleotides uh, are also available uh, in medication. Uh, these compounds uh, are used to, to treat uh, some disease at the genetic level, 
Uh, these are uh, gene silencing agents or optomers, and the most recent uh, achievements uh, in this field is the uh, development of uh, uh, um, messenger RNA-based vaccines uh, to uh, fight against uh, COVID-19 disease, and uh, probably uh, all uh, know here that uh, the uh, breakthrough uh, results in this field uh, were awarded by Nobel Prize this year. We are very proud of uh, uh, Kathleen Carrico uh, for her uh, enthusiastic and brilliant uh, work in this field. So, uh, as I mentioned, there are many uh, therapeutic nucleosides and oligonucleotides which are currently available. Uh, why is it necessary to develop new uh, compounds? So, uh, uh, due to uh, spread of uh, 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 viral uh, and uh, uh, resistance against uh, antiviral and anti-cancer agents, uh, um, the, some of the uh, drugs are not uh, uh, active uh, against this disease already, and uh, um, emergence of uh, new viruses, just uh, like the uh, SARS coronavirus, the causative agent of COVID-19, uh, and also the uh, uh, adverse effects of these uh, compounds um, pose problems uh, in therapy and urge the development of uh, new, new and new uh, nucleoside and uh, oligonucleotide derivatives. Uh, our uh, research group uh, are dealing with the uh, synthesis of so-called sugar-modified uh, nucleoside derivative. It means that we uh, modify the uh, furanose part of the uh, native nucleosides, either by using uh, 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 thiol in photo-initiated reaction, uh, and a most recent uh, modification uh, applied by us is the replacement of the sugar unit by uh, nitrogen-containing uh, heterocycle or nitrogen-containing uh, heterocyclic uh, systems. Um, what was uh, the inspiration of this work? Uh, the major uh, uh, inspiration of uh, our stu uh, synthetic study was the uh, PMO. Uh, it is a kind of uh, uh, artificial uh, oligonucleotide uh, consisting of morpholino uh, monomers. Morpholino is the name of the uh, morpholine ring uh, containing nucleoside analog in which the sugar unit is replaced by a morpholine. Uh, and these derivatives uh, are uh, approved for the uh, uh, cure uh, several uh, uh, genetic disorders. Uh, a similar structure is the lock nucleoside. Uh, it has also uh, gene silencing uh, activity and uh, pyrrolidine containing nucleoside analogs uh, uh, have uh, antimicrobial activity. And there are many uh, interesting uh, nitrogen-containing uh, heterocycles in the nature, uh, which uh, 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 possess uh, very uh, interesting and uh, promising biological activity. Uh, for example, Svensonin and Castanospermin uh, have strong uh, anti-cancer activity. Uh, the cocoin, which uh, has a tropan skeleton, uh, is a well-known compound, uh, partly because uh, it's uh, local anesthetic uh, activity. Uh, Pseudopelletrain uh, has a very nice uh, uh, granatane skeleton. Uh, it is a, a breached uh, nitrogen-containing bicycle. Uh, uh, the synthetic uh, variant of uh, this uh, structure is a, a serotonin antagonist uh, uh, antiemetic medication and uh, uh, oxygen-containing synthetic version of this compound uh, has uh, promising uh, uh, glycosidase inhibitory activity. So uh, we uh, thought that uh, uh, combining these interesting uh, nitrogen-containing uh, structures with the uh, nucleoside uh, uh, derivatives uh, can uh, 
uh, led to interesting uh, combined biological activities. What was our uh, synthetic strategy? We uh, decided to destroy uh, the nucleoside, uh, mm, at least uh, uh, the sugar par uh, part, sugar unit of the nucleoside by an oxidative cleavage to uh, get seco uh, the aldehyde uh, compound. And this the uh, aldehyde can be uh, converted into uh, different uh, tricyclic, uh, condensed bicyclic or bridged bicyclic compounds. In these plant compounds, the sugar part is replaced by this uh, interesting uh, uh, new, uh, either to unknown uh, uh, heterocyclic system. So the driving force of this research was the uh, chemical curiosity, uh, whether uh, this compound, this uh, interesting structure uh, can be uh, prepared. Uh, anyway, this uh, design, uh, somehow similar to the uh, creative method of uh, uh, cubist painting, uh, they uh, also uh, destroy the original shape uh, the body or human face, and then reconstruct it in an unusual way, just uh, was made by Picasso. But uh, uh, often these uh, uh, new structures uh, are quite ugly or even horrifying, while our uh, plant compounds are beautiful, uh, at least uh, uh, by, the, uh, by uh, the eyes of uh, organic chemist. Okay, probably uh, some of you uh, are not familiar with uh, the uh, organic synthesis uh, uh, stages. Um, so I uh, try to show you how to uh, uh, work uh, it in a lab. Um, it is quite similar to cooking. We need a recipe. Uh, and we need some ingredients, and uh, just like in the cooking, uh, in a kitchen, uh, we mix the uh, ingredients to react with each other, but not in a pot, but in a round flask, uh, in a chemical hood. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, we have to monitor the reaction progress. Uh, it can be performed uh, by uh, thin layer chromatography. We uh, take sample uh, from the reaction mixture, uh, uh, put the sample into a, a thin layer, and then uh, detect it uh, either by UV light or uh, some reagents, and then we can uh, monitor uh, the reaction progress. When it is completed, uh, we have to uh, stop and work up the reaction, uh, and then uh, we purify the compound, or if we have several uh, products, we separate them in pure form. Uh, it can be uh, performed by cr uh, cr crystallization or by column chromatography. Uh, during cr column chromatography, we collect fractions, check the purity of the fractions, and the uh, pure fractions are combined uh, and uh, concentrated. And then, uh, the next step is the determination of the structure of the isolated pure compound. Uh, in uh, one of our uh, projects, uh, we wanted to prepare tricyclic uh, uh, compounds uh, from nucleoside dialdehyde. Uh, the starting compound of uh, our work was always uh, the nucleoside secodialdehyde. Here we uh, reacted it with the uh, uh, amino triol derivative. Uh, no one tried this reaction uh, before, uh, and to our great uh, uh, delight, uh, the reaction proceeds well, uh, uh, and uh, proceeded well and resulted in uh, only one compound, uh, although uh, in this reaction three new stereogenic uh, centers are formed, uh, and uh, the uh, possible uh, number of stereoisomers uh, are eight, but we could isolate only one uh, pure stereoisomer. So this reaction proceeded uh, with complete stereoselectivity. It was 
uh, excellent, but the uh, determination of the obsolete configuration was quite challenging. Uh, uh, some uh, spectroscopic method was applied, uh, uh, but uh, uh, failed, and uh, uh, at the end, uh, uh, fortunately, we uh, could uh, prepare a crystalline compound after acetylation, uh, and the uh, crystalline compound uh, uh, gives opportunity to use uh, X-ray uh, crystallographic method, uh, and uh, the uh, X-ray uh, uh, structure show us uh, the compound in its three-dimensional form. We can see uh, the uh, uh, coupling mode uh, and the uh, stereochemical uh, orientation of all uh, atoms in a compound. Uh, so, uh, next we moved on and uh, performed a similar reaction using a triamine compounds. Uh, the reactions uh, proceeded similarly well uh, with full stereoselectivity. Here, the most ch uh, challenging uh, part of this work was the synthesis of this uh, triamine propane reagent uh, because uh, uh, the synthesis performed through azido compounds uh, which are uh, quite uh, explosive. Uh, then we attempted to uh, uh, prepare uh, not a tricyclic but bicyclic compound using not a, a an amine with two other uh, functional group, but uh, an amine with uh, another uh, nucleophilic functional group. Uh, this uh, reaction uh, theoretically uh, can produce several products, uh, 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 bicyclic products with different uh, regioselectivity and also uh, a so-called uh, open chain monocyclic compound. Uh, and uh, uh, we found, uh, studying uh, this type of reactions, that the outcome of uh, the reaction uh, depended on the uh, conditions, the amine used, and also uh, the uh, nucleobase, uh, because uh, using different uh, amines, different bases, and different conditions, different uh, products were formed. Uh, here, the separation of the products uh, and the isolation uh, in pure form and structural determination were the uh, main challenges. Uh, and uh, um, in the case of uh, adenosine derivatives, uh, we isolated uh, unexpected unsaturated products. Uh, and uh, the determination of the structure of these compounds was, was uh, uh, really uh, puzzling. Uh, from different... Uh, uh, structural determination methods, we uh, collect some information of the uh, structural part of uh, the products. Uh, we could isolate a double bond, uh, a, a diazine ring, uh, this part of the morpholine ring in saturated form, and then we try to put this information together, but it was uh, really puzzling. Uh, and uh, difficult, but uh, at the end, uh, we could determine the uh, exact uh, structure of uh, the obtained uh, uh, compounds, uh, unsaturated uh, uh, products. So many other uh, uh, interesting uh, compounds uh, were uh, isolated. Uh, some of them were uh, published, but uh, uh, this is an ongoing uh, process most uh, uh, results have not been published yet. So uh, uh, instead of going into the uh, chemical detail, I show you the uh, young researchers uh, who involved in the preparative work. Uh, it, uh, it is Russia from Syria, uh, one of our PhD students, and uh, uh, Erika is a talented postdoc, and uh, uh, Miklos Lovas uh, is somewhere here. Uh, he's a young uh, academist, uh, and uh, um, Miklos Bege, another uh, talented uh, uh, postdoc, uh, performed the reaction uh, in order to uh, isolate so-called oxagranatano uh, containing uh, nucleoside derivatives. Uh, these are really uh, 
uh, exciting uh, new structures, uh, and uh, he combined uh, this uh, cyclization reaction. It is a Robinson shift uh, uh, cyclization reaction. Uh, it was combined with uh, uh, tile in uh, photo initiated reaction. Uh, and uh, he uh, prepared several uh, in interesting new compounds. So at the end, uh, you can learn uh, something about uh, uh, the connection between organic chemistry and cooking, uh, and the similarity uh, between uh, chemical synthesis and uh, cubist paintings. But I think uh, what is more important, uh, you can learn that uh, the development of new drugs require chemical synthesis. So chemical synthesis is really important for, uh, for drug development. And in addition, uh, chemistry is fun. Thank you for your uh, kind attention. Thank you.